my work is, is mainly acting for children and parents in care proceedings. Well, the vast majority of my work is for tenants and for homeless people. The sort of work that we do deals with the most vulnerable adults and children in society because they are facing the loss of the, the children from their care potentially and potentially um, losing the legal right to be considered that child's parent. So I represented a young man with learning disabilities who was living with his family at home but he was being kept overnight in a kennel outside his house. The ability to access justice regardless of class, creed, background, income is the bedrock of a fair and just society. The children with special educational needs and disabilities are increasingly being failed by a system that's designed to support them. Legal aid should be available for all victims of domestic abuse, um, irrespective of means to pay. It's not an exaggeration to say that the cases that we deal with are often uh, often involve life and death issues. I think that the, a, a well-funded public interest legal system is, a, is like public health. It's about building institutions and values which protect us all, the rule of law. I'd like to give you a sort of grassroots perspective of what's going on out there because it feels a little bit frustrating at the moment. We're doing a lot of shouting and we don't feel like we're being heard. Which party, which administration is going to have the courage of, its con of conviction to actually repair this problem? Because if we don't, uh, public confidence in the legal profession and the justice system will drop even lower than it is now and we will see more miscarriages of justice. It can be physically and emotionally draining for us um, it can also lead to vicarious trauma um, but it is also absolutely extremely rewarding. I'm absolutely passionate about this work and I'm absolutely passionate about legal aid. That's the thrill of the publicly funded bar that we're there to be able to empower our clients.